Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much guys for all your support that you have been given to me on this my channel. In the world of football, a lot of control versus games and winning and a progression to the next round of different competition. First, it's from the Barclay Premier League. We had FC Chelsea yesterday are true by beating a Tottenham Hotspur. One goal, the goal by Rudiger, 18 minutes into the game and that was just the only goal in that game. The aggregate was 3-0 and Chelsea await either Liverpool or Arsenal in Wembley for the Barack and also in England, West Ham have to go past by Norwich City. The man sitting in the relegation zone, comfortable 20 on the table. Two goals by Jaren Bowen gave the side of David Moyes three points. And West Ham are doing well in recent time. And in the Spanish La Liga, FC Barcelona against Real Madrid. It was 2-2 full time, but they have to go into the extra time. But a goal by Valverde put Real Madrid ahead. And Barcelona suffer another defeat again in the hands of Real Madrid. Though Barca is still in progress. And let's go to Italy. We are in time is on the line. Beat Juventus. The last minute goal by Alessandro Sanchez in the stoppage time. It gives them the edge. And in time is on the line. Are true to the next round. And what's happening in the world of football in the Afcon, African Cup of Nations? A lot of controversies. And also the game of Chelsea between Tottenham Hotspur yesterday. There was a controversy, guys, that what we will be focusing more. But first, let's start with the game of Chelsea. Harry Kane on point. But yet a lot have been saying that the goal is a goal. Some are saying it's an upside. But what's your opinion in all these arguments? An opinion of fans when it comes to football. The decision will be made based on the rules and regulation governing football. And don't forget, in the rules of FIFA, they said any player behind the goalkeeper, if he's the only player remaining with the opponent player, definitely a ball is an offside because it's assumed that the defender is the last man, which is the goalkeeper. What happened yesterday, Arizabalaga was off the line and Harry Kane was behind the goalkeeper before Lucas Amora laid the ball for Harry Kane. But Rudiger was inside the boss. But at the same time, a lot of persons are saying the ball is not offside, but the goal was disallowed. Guys, I must say this. Do you really think that was the right decision by VAR? Or do you really think that Tottenham Hotspur here have been oppressed? And what's your opinion, guys? And what do you have to say about this? But I will tell you, I believe the referee decision is based on the rules and regulation concerning offside in football. So I won't tell you that Tottenham Hotspur has been oppressed yesterday and Chelsea has been favored. But I feel the rules governing football and governing offside was the decision based, make based on it. But let's return back to the AFCOM. A lot have been saying that this was the reason why Jordan Club called the African Cup of Nation a small tournament because of the error yesterday made by the referee and a lot of persons have been saying something happened maybe the referee has been charmed or he has a little mental issue by ending the game between Tunisia and Mali in the 85th minute of the match but he was called back again by the visual assistant referee to say it's not time yet they return and he end the same game at 8, 9 and 45 seconds of the game. A lot of talk, a lot of control versus, but the Tunisian players refused to return back to the team to continue the game in order to complete the play and the stoppage time of that particular match. And now, presently, Tunisia has fired a report to CAF. What will they do? Will the winning be overruled and the game be played again? Or will Tunisia be disallowed from the African Cup of Nations for refusing to return back to the pitch to play even when they're being called back? Guys, what do you think? What's your opinion on this? Do you really think Tunisia is supposed to return back to the pitch? Or do you think them refusing to return the second time was the best decision they made and instead wait for calf decision? What do you think? Do you really think that Tunisia did the right thing? I don't know, but I want your opinion. Uh, what do you think about the Chelsea's goal? What do you think about the goal by Harry Kane? What do you think about the offside? Do you really think that Hotspot Tottenham, you are up? What's your opinion? Your comment, your contribution, it's most important in this my YouTube channel. I drop your contribution, drop your comment, share my video, like my video. Thanks for your support. But until I see you again, guys, stay safe and I do love you.